Hello everyone. So today I'm gonna compare the Fujifilm JPEG with uh, so this is the center one is the JPEG with the capture one as long as with the Lightroom. So this is the initial load of the raw files initially in the capture one, and you can see that uh, the um, the JPEG straight out of the camera. Is already have a little bit sharpened so let me zoom in a little bit and then similarly just some zoom in a little bit more so let me see just show you the um, the difference so initially you can see that is uh, because uh, in camera sharpening is already sharper than both of them already and um, it depends on uh, what you think these are all in the standard to v2 uh, provia so this is a standard profile this this shot and let me just for the shake uh, let me increase the sharpness a little bit so just uh, let me do a quick update of the sharpness so I'm just gonna do a quick update and then just to see how it goes and let me know in the comment below um, and for those of you who want to try the uh, capture one you can use the link in the com uh, in the description below as well so you can try it out and do support my channel so what I'm gonna do is after I apply I'm uh, apply more detail to here radius slightly threshold reduce more and then yeah so that's good um let me do a before and after you can see that um it has a huge difference on the eyes okay so once i finish this one let's check again um the overall contrast uh, i need to modify a little bit i'm, I'm trying to match the contrast a little bit slightly reduce the brightness highlight safe okay so let's see it's probably a right uh, apply too much contrast okay so so this is the result of the capture one and then this is the still the jpeg straight out of the camera and then this time I'm going to modify a little bit of the con uh, contrast here, highlight save. So just uh, comment below which one do you like most uh, initially. Um, so I'm going to increase the detail among and then radius, hold down the option key. Okay, so let's check. So before and after. And I can see the, um, if it's go down to the, um, the pixel, there's some uh, warmy artifact also. So that's why you can see that it in here around this. Uh, and let's check. So in the capture one, it's not very obvious here. You can see that this uh, triangle right here. So it doesn't have this effect on the raw file in capture one for the Fujifilm X-T3 file. And whereas the, um, let me go to the two to one. Yep, so this is more obvious and then see how the capture one handles that you can try it out in your local Just to see the difference between these two files and of course if you are traveling uh, You don't want to edit a lot just slightly slight edit. So this one is good enough uh, For the JPEG uh, JPEG color initial color is very nice already So you can just see that um, it's very nice already
um, the color and um, the tone is good already so it depends on your personal preference and based on what you need do you need a very uh, extensive uh, editing process or you want a quick editing on the JPEG or um, if you are, don't want to switch uh, you have to stick with the Lightroom for the warmy artifact also but um, it's definitely the disadvantage of using the Lightroom to edit the Fuji files so um, you can try it out um, just let me know in the comment below which one you like so let's go to the next one so this one is backlight and let me open a JPEG just to compare so I'm opening a JPEG here just to compare so the JPEG already you can see that it's sharper than this one because it has an in-camera sharpening already and since we are here I'm gonna do a quick sharpening without changing a lot and then do an option just sharpen the edges okay so that's good and then increase the so definitely right out of the camera is already really good uh, the color tone is very nice already and it seems like uh, from the catcher one is a little bit uh, soft uh, side toward the soft side let me see double check the zoom in so because it's the raw file i need to add some um sharpness to it so let me update here just a quick update on here and this is the area that is uh, in front in focus and then increase the amount okay let me do before and after so before and after you can see that it's much sharper and that and of course um the directly out of the camera because the Fuji is known for the uh, nice uh, directly out of the camera already so the JPEG is already very nice uh, and sharp you can see the edges is already very nice and sharp already so uh, you can do a sharpening here uh, and then without warming artifact so let me create almost the same zoom do one eight oh that's the other way one four so just a side by side comparison and then which tone do you like the most uh, just for reference so okay since it's time I'm gonna adjust uh, another one let's go to another one just to give you more references and you can uh, because it's subjective uh, because colors are subjective uh, and you can let me know which one do you like so let me open close this to let me open another one so this is the JPEG backlight sunset hours let me know which one you like the most uh, initially I can reduce down to here so definitely also the contrast uh, right out of the camera is very nice and um, these three they are all classic chrome v2 uh, they are all classic chrome film profile as I'm zooming in more um, let me zoom in more because they are uh, raw, unsharpened, and this one is sharpened within the camera setting, you can see that it's already very sharp already. So let me go down here and then zoom in a little bit and then do a one four zoom for this one. 
so that you can see it uh, the sharpness uh, is still very nice in camera sharpening is very nice that's why uh, directly out of the camera JPEG is already very nice and I have been shooting for five years already so it's good uh, if you want to travel without worrying about a lot of editing and um, if I am sharpening the whole image and then not changing this one just do a quick update in here and this is, can be nice and sharp and then let me add an adjustment layer let me check Okay, so just for demonstration purpose, um, I'm gonna check it out. Contrast, uh, sorry, not contrast, sharpening the mouth. So it's still still the jpeg is very good um so that's why fujifilm jpeg is known for um the jpeg uh like very nice jpeg is known for very nice jpeg for fujifilm and um i mean from far away it's hard to see the warming artifact in the back lights but uh still uh depends on which tone do you like it's very similar from the back lights standpoint so let me go to the next one just quickly go through the next couple one so just uh, open let me open this one close this one and then let me open this okay so this is the initial it seems like more a little bit more um golden i don't know if it's my monitor or something um just on the this area is a little bit more golden in here but again on the jpeg it's already very nice and sharp on the jpeg and this i have we have to do sharpening do the same procedure and this one also so for for demonstration purpose i'm just gonna do a sharpening um, directly yep so let me know which one you like the most uh, i think the jpeg is pretty good um that's why sunset hour jpeg for fujifilm uh, xt3 or xt2 they are very good already and the next one let me open the next one just for demonstration purpose and let me see this one so these are all raw file initially so let me know which one do you like the most it's very close um the classic chrome and um i think this one directly on the jpeg is already very nice but uh let me sharpen it up a little bit just a moment no i don't want to do that on the layer so let me do it on yep and sharpening so basically the skin tone are very similar in terms of sunset in the fujifilm um let me do the last one last one it has a sun flare so let's check out the sun flare uh, effect so sun flare in here and in here okay so again it's a very similar but the shadow area is different how it renders the shadow uh, it has uh, some highlight safe in in the jpeg already but uh, this one it seems a darker black in the um, capture one and this one slightly has some green tint uh, in the back as well for the uh, Lightroom so these are just for reference to see which one 
you like the most because it's the personal preference or do you want to stick let me know in the uh, comment do you want to stick with jpeg or uh, i know it has more compatibility that's why i'm shooting both uh, uh, mode so jpeg plus uh, raw so just in case uh, i have some capability in case i need to modify uh, some things in the background or in the shadow or not enough light but um, right out of the bat, the JPEG is very nice uh, and sharp already. And this one, we can do try out, just sharpen it. So, yeah. So, um, I think uh, this is why the Fuji community is very known for the JPEG. They like the JPEG a lot. So, just, uh, just I'm just curious uh, like how it looks. And it seems like the skin tone... Um, it's not that much difference uh, for Fuji if you load in different app uh, like Capture One or Lightroom or uh, if you want to stick with the JPEG for easy editing just it's fine uh, if it's the lighting is good enough uh, you don't need a lot of adjustment just some slight adjustment in on the JPEG is fine um, that's uh, that's a quick video today and then just to show you the difference between these three uh, aspective uh, one is the capture one if you want to download to do a trial and then uh, you can use the link below just to support my channel thanks um, and um, or if you want to just on the travel you don't want to edit a lot just use the JPEG directly out of the camera SOOC or um, if you are using Lightroom already and then you want to uh, use the same controls uh, you can stick with the Lightroom um, but there's a uh, disadvantage is the warming artifact uh, for the Fuji uh, f uh, raw file if uh, it has this kind of like warming uh, artifact on it like this kind of like pixel um, that's the disadvantage for the Lightroom so make sure to use the capture one if you want to edit raw files that's the conclusion and for travel use this file so thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more video coming up bye